What's up? This is Jason Tucker for StablyTimes.com. Today I'm going to be talking about Google Glass and iOS and how they work with one another. So Google Glass and iOS are um, they're not 100% compatible. Um, Google Glass itself can tether to a iOS device, but it's not able to actually um, interact with the device in any way. Um, very, very minimal. If you can uh, tether to the device, um, if you have a tethering plan, then uh, tethering through Bluetooth or Wi-Fi will allow you to get onto the internet. From that point, um, that's pretty much all you're able to do with it. Um, you can use it to listen to music and you can use it to make phone calls um, just using the built-in uh, built speaker that's here on the device itself and the microphone that's built in. But aside from that, there's um, there's not much else you can really do with it um, with the with the iPhone. Um, on the iPhone itself, uh, if you go over to glass.google.com/myglass, which is this particular page here, there's some there's some things you can do um, to kind of manage your glass. So, for instance, if you wanted to get um, information about what's currently running on the glass, when it was last updated, when it was registered. You can get that information there. You can also set your Wi-Fi networks up, putting in some information here, <laughs> and then um, selecting you know what type of encryption you're using, and then putting in your password for the encryption, and then hit generate code, and it'll generate a QR code so you're able to get onto a Wi-Fi access point if you're someplace that you're not. Um, You've never used that access point with. You can also um, go and create uh, different uh, different uh, contacts using this, and then turn on and off different uh, glassware apps. So that's that's great that you're able to do that stuff, but it's um, for me it's not enough. Um, I'm really looking for um, kind of the full experience, just like the Android users are able to do. So let me show you a little bit about the things that you can and can't do with Glass. OK Glass. So if you start at the top here, you can see this, then this one, that one, that one doesn't work. That one only sends an email. That one does work, and that one works as well. So when you're looking at each one of those different ones, um, you know I can tell it, okay, glass, take a picture, and it takes a picture of my desk. I could say, okay, glass, record a video, and it'll record the video. I can extend the video. So now I can record more than 10 seconds of video. I can stop the video, and then I'm done with that. Um, now once I've taken one of those photos or videos, then I can do something with it. So for instance, I could go and share this, and share it publicly, or share it however I have it set up. Um, but that, now that actually requires iOS. That's just, it just requires internet access. And like I was telling you earlier, I'm actually connected um, to my home Wi-Fi here. Uh, I, use a, um, I use a clear wireless 4G card typically when I'm out and about so I can use my iPad, my iPhone, or my iPad, my computer. Those things don't have internet access normally. Um, so if I'm in an area where I want internet access, then the, that's the device that I use for it. I could go and purchase um, you know, the, the tethering plan for my iPhone and then everything would just work through that. Um, but it's not something I'm going to do just because I'm kind of grandfathered into an unlimited plan with AT&T. And you, so with that, um, the things that you um, are able to do on, on this are primarily things that are, uh, that are just built into glass itself. Uh, if there were, um, one thing I'd love to be able to do is send and receive text messages. The other would be to get driving directions using this. Um, I haven't been able to use the driving directions because it, it uses and requires the tethering of um, tethering to an Android device that has uh, my glass application installed on it. 
So when you have the MyGlass application installed, it uses that as a conduit to get out to the internet to be able to pull in the information that it needs. Now, mind you, it does give me very basic information. So if I flick through this a little bit, you can see some of the things that I've done in the past. These are different pictures that people have taken when they're out and about. You can see lots of tweets and, and that sort of stuff. It kind of anticipates um, some of the things that, uh, that I'm going to be doing. So if we flick through a little bit here, we should start seeing um, some stuff regarding uh, driving directions and things like that. And these are just pictures that people have taken that are part of a MyGlass um, application. I'm sorry, a, uh, a glassware application. So we can kind of flick through a whole bunch of different um, things that are listed in here. You can see a picture that I took yesterday from work and I posted it to Facebook. You can um, you know, kind of see all the different things that are, that are going on that other people are doing with glass, which is pretty interesting. Now, the other stuff, you know, like uh, finding to today's birthdays, you can get that pretty easy. Um, where I'm at at home and work and what the weather's like, and then uh, different types of uh, information regarding settings and such. But unfortunately, the things that I can't do is um, be able to ask it to OK Glass directions to. It says it's not able to do it. OK Glass. Send a message to. Jennifer Tucker. Jen, this is another test email that I'm sending you from Google Glass. So it sent her an email. It didn't actually send her a text message. Um, I think a text message would probably be a lot better, um, but um, you know, getting an email or something like that is pretty decent. Now, the other thing you can do is you can also uh, do a Google Hangout off of it. So I could say, OK Glass, Hangout With, and you could pick any one of these you know, to hang out with. Now, hanging out is hanging out's pretty interesting because you're, you're hanging out through the glass, but you're not, people aren't actually able to see you unless you're sitting in front of a mirror. And in that, then they're able to actually interact with you and such. But if there's no mirror, then they're just seeing what's coming from your face. Now, mind you, those those things aren't something that you um, uh, that are very limit that are limited to uh, iOS or anything like that. But um, it is you know something you're able to do with the device. Uh, I'm hoping that more and more features are being added to Google Glass that will allow it to interact with iOS. But I'd really like to see is that Google Glass just becomes more of an independent platform that doesn't require um, the actual uh, the device to be tethered to anything other than to be able to get um, internet um, access. So you can kind of go through here and see some of the stuff that I have done in the past. Looks like this guy's been driving. I've done that. <laughs> and that sort of stuff. So. Um, I really hope that um, Google's able to do some really cool stuff with this platform and hopefully um, new and cooler things will come out for iOS um, on this device. All right, this is Jason Tucker, StablyTimes.com. Thank you very much for stopping by.